Somebody say amen now. Are you afraid? It's a good way to regulate the economy of Nigeria. Amen. Amen. It's a good way to invite more investors into this country. Glory to God. So be ready for celebration tonight. Amen. The power and possibilities of relationship. Now, right from the book of Genesis, the beginning, God Almighty himself introduced to us the power and the possibilities that are embedded in right relationship. The work of creation was a work of unity. The Bible says in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, referring to God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And then verse 2 now gave us the explanation of the roles that God the Father played, God the Son played, and God the Holy Spirit also played. When the Bible says, the earth was formless and empty, and darkness covered the deep waters. That was the situation of things on ground. There was darkness, there was pain, there were so many scenarios that needed intervention. And then God now had to intervene. I'm praying for you this morning that no matter how bad things may be, the miracle that God can do through the power of relationship, he will bring it for you to experience in the name of Jesus. Your amen can be better than that. Your amen can be better than that. Your amen can be better than that. Then verse 3 says, Then God said, God the Father, to the lead, let there be light. But before that, the Holy Spirit was hovering over the face of the waters. It was in the midst of the darkness. So there are friendships that abide with us, even when we are challenged. And there are friendships that can abandon us. Hence the need to extray every relationship in your life. And when God was speaking, he was using the power of Jesus to be able to do that which we needed to do in our life at that point in Scripture. I'm praying for you again this morning that what the Lord alone can do will be your portion in the name of Jesus. Your amen can be better than that. Your amen can be better than that. I'd like you to raise your hand to God where you are and pray that every relationship in my life that is a body that is causing darkness to still remain, that the Lord will remove it. Can you pray in a minute in Jesus' name? Pray in a minute. Pray in a minute. Lord, any relationship in my life that is not driving darkness away, Rather, causing darkness to permeate, causing hardship. Lord, you will intervene for me today. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Your amen can be better than that. So again, you discover that the Holy Spirit was brooding on the face of the waters. And when God the Father was speaking, he spoke Jesus Christ. Now, the Bible says in 1 John chapter 5, verse 7 to 8, it said there are three that bear witness in heaven. There are three that bear witness in heaven. In heaven, there is spirit, the water, and the blood. These, are, these three witnesses agree. There are three that bear witness in heaven. Also referring to God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So there is a level of relationship that becomes a witness, that becomes a confirmation of several things in our life. Maybe you don't know that the circle of your friends has a voice over your destiny. Many people don't need to see your CV before they approve or disapprove of you. All they need to look for is your circle of relationship. What kind of relationship do you bear? How are you able to sustain marriage? How are you able to sustain partnership? How are you able to, 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 to relate? And then that happens. You hardly can find any organization without a very strong HR unit, human relations department, to be because of the, the enabling role it has to play and the strength involved in it. That is why even God said for anybody to be a pastor, he must be a man of one wife. In essence, he must be a man who understands the principles of solid relationship. Why? Because it is the church that God also, when he was speaking in scripture in several places, God brought us some basic principles at, that applies to the Godhead and the family. He said, just as... Um, he said the husband is the head of his wife, just as Christ is the head of the church. 
you know, relationship embedded there. I'm praying for us this morning that in all aspects of our relationship, may we be able to walk well and right in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Your amen can be better than that. Your amen can be better than that. In Genesis chapter 1, 26 to 28, it was a group of relationship that decided to make you and I in the image of God. God said, come, let us make man. Come, let us make man. It took a collaborative work for us to be made. So every one of us were a product of relationship of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. That was why at a point, God said it was not good for the man to be alone. Why? Because what made man to exist, relationship was involved. God had to relate with the Son and the Holy Spirit for man to be involved. So relationship was part of the foundation of our making. That is why God now says it was not good for the man to be alone. I will make a help suitable for him, which God did. That is why you need that same God to be able to decide for you what manner of family and people you relate with in your life. Proverbs 17, 17 said, a friend loves at all times. A friend loves at all times. And don't forget, the book of Ecclesiastes tells us there are several kinds of seasons and times in life. Several kinds of seasons and times in life. And there are several of it that were not good at all, that were hard, that were hard, that were, that were very, very tough times. So when you have a true friend in marriage as a spouse, a true friend as a friend who is very supportive that you grew together or somehow God brought you in line together, the Bible says he is able to practice love with you, not minding the seasons of life that you face. Because not only when things are right, do we need somebody to smile with. We need somebody to encourage us to be able to smile and laugh, especially when tough times are knocking on the door. I pray for you this morning that a friend that loves at all times will not be scarce in your life in the name of Jesus. Your amen is not good enough. <clears throat> there are several persons who had, who had peace and joy before they got engaged, before they had a fiance, fiance, before they even got married. And then marriage now became a source of pain and sorrow. A woman was talking to me a few days back, sent me a message that she's going to file for divorce very soon. I called her back and I asked her whose decision is that. I said, you don't know what I'm going through. I said, I know what you are going through, but I don't want you to go through more than what you're already going through. Are you getting me now? Said, because you made the decision to go into that marriage. The consequence is what he's speaking now. You want to make another decision to fight for divorce. There's another consequence that that one will also cause. And that will now be times two. This one will be phase one. That one will now be phase two. And the phase two is always more hard. The more negative decisions you take when you come to a relationship, the more complicated your life becomes. I couldn't sleep until about past 12 last night Why? I was settling issues between a man and his wife. The husband is in UK, the wife is in Australia. Hello? Hello? <laughs> it's take work to be a pastor. Amen. Amen. Are you listening to me? Please, you need to begin to be deliberate in ensuring that you make relationship in your life work. We'll be speaking, as we go on, a better understanding in this line. The Bible says a friend loves at all times. So a last relationship of any kind must have this all mark of love. God who made us, made us out of love. That was why he recommended the same love to us for, as a need that we can use to be able to go on in life. And in scripture you find mention all kinds of relationship. There is family there's family, there's friendship, there's partnership, you know, there's romantic relationship, all of it. There's even the evil partnership in several areas of scripture that you find there. You find it in scripture. And, but I'm praying for you that the several aspects or kinds of partnership, relationship in your own life will be positive for increase in the name of Jesus. Your amen can be better than that. Your amen can be better than that. In, in the Matthew chapter 22, reading from verse 36 to 40, the religious teach leaders, Jewish people, were asking Jesus that which is the greatest commandment in the law. And Jesus replied them, 
Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. And this is the first commandment. And then he said, the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. So you find that two areas of life, very, very consistent, that the vacuum must be filled. Our relationship with God, our relationship with our fellow human beings. Fellow human beings, grade one, your, your marital relationship, grade two, your extended relationship, extended family relationship, grade three, your other friends, grade four, career or business partnership of all kinds. So you find that you cannot but do but find in your life a minimum of about three or four kinds of relationship. You and God, you and the fellow you will marry or that you are married to, you and your, your siblings, extended families, depending on the kind of family you have, if it is a monogamous family, your normal siblings and their families, if it is a polygamous family like my own, uh, my father married um, five wives, there are some of you, your father did more than that. So it becomes more, 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 more spread. Don't let me say complicated. Amen. More spread. Amen. Then the career aspect of your life and the rest. Of it. So you find a minimum of five types of relationship that must be in your life, that you must be able to cope with. And you must be able to cope with. Now all these five minimum kinds have these different principles. There are foundational principles that work with all of them. And there are principles that, you, that there is a limit you must, limit of practice, a limit of use, that you have to use it according to all these great levels. Sometimes, some of you have turned career friends to intimate family members. And that, is where, that has caused you so many sorrows and pain. And pain. Or by virtue of immaturity, you did not relate according to the maturity of this set of people that are in your life. And then you have complicated cases. And then you are now finding it difficult to be able to love again. To love God, to love yourself, to love your parents, to love your siblings, to love and all that. Somebody was complaining to me of the pain that his in-laws were causing. Then I now told him of another person that the pain this woman was going through was caused by her own parents in her own life. She now said, show. Sure. I said, yes. I said, but there, is a, there, is, there are solutions to all these challenges that God has made available to us. Ruth had a unique relationship, romantic relationship with Boaz. David had a legendary friendship with Jonathan. Paul and Barnabas and John and Mark had partnership that were sometimes good and sometimes rocky, yet they were able to pilot their affairs. And even at times, there was some time that Paul and one of the disciples had space among themselves. But then later on, they became the best of friends in ministry as well. So you find it even, even in church. My prayer is that God will give you the needed wisdom and strength and grace to be able to pilot the affairs of relationship in your life in the name of Jesus. Your amen can be better than that. And reason being that from God we get all things. From all these other type of relationship, there are, there are blessings also there. Some of us have discovered that the fellow that God has actually used for your destiny lifting or destiny partnership is not even from your immediate family at all. Some that God has used to save you from the worst scenarios of life is not even from somebody whom is from your tribe, whom you had blood connection to. It's, it's, so, so you find this, if you look at David and Jonathan, it's, it's a mystery of one of the things you need to pay attention to concerning relationship. His father, the father of Jonathan, is the arch enemy of David. At a point, because of the love Jonathan had for David, even the father threw his spear against Jonathan. It was not only David that the father threw his spear at when, when Saul was expecting David at the banquet, because that particular time he wanted to kill him, and Jonathan had told him not to come to the banquet, and David didn't come first, he didn't come second day. So the father asked for David the second day, and Jonathan gave an excuse that maybe he went to Judah to go and see his family. He got angry at him. He said, as long as David is alive, you, my son, and your own children can never reign in Israel. Imagine that. And then he threw his spear at his own son. 
because he knew that he was shielding his enemy. So when people tell you that the enemy of my friend is my enemy, it's a wrong principle. If you look at the principle of David and Jonathan, it's a wrong principle. Amen. And that's why this is one of the wisdom you need to imbibe. I'm a pastor. I've been transferred from here to here to here to here. At times you get somewhere and the fellow handing over to you would give you groupings that this set of pastors are enemies. This one will make your work difficult. Are you listening to me? And some of us pastors were foolish enough to receive such reports and people you did not know, you are meeting for the first time. You just hate them. Are you listening to me? But God has taught me long ago I discovered people on my own that you related with the three people beside you and you didn't go well with you and I joined you does not mean what you were is who I am. I'm different. The same army that Saul could not carry to battle to win victory was the same army that David used to kill the enemies of Israel. Leadership. Change of persons. So please take note of this. Please take note of this. The Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God will help us in the name of Jesus. Where money fails, relationship will succeed. Relationship is a currency that its value is more than money. By relationship, I was given the privilege to minister at Central Parish in Abuja some few years back. And seated among the congregation in the front row listening to me was the former vice president of this country, Professor Shibaju. My seat and the seat were just one, one middle seat in between us. I was sitting here. The pastor of Central Parish was sitting here. He was sitting next to, to, to him. Because of my relationship with this father, I got to Abuja for something. I said, Kola, you are in town. You're taking Bible study today. He said, yes, sir. They sent to me the outline. I studied it and then came up and teach. And when I finished and the VP was going, he stopped in my front and greeted me and then was appreciating me for the message of that day. If I, did not, if I had no relationship with the senior pastor of Central Parish, I would not have been given the platform to preach. I've been out of Nigeria a couple of times. The first and the second time, just because of relationship. So it is a currency that is viable in life. So you need to be intentional in relating. In relating. In relating. Proverbs 13, verse 20, walk with the wise and become wise. For a companion of fools shall suffer harm. Proverbs 18, 24, one who has unreliable friends soon comes to ruin. One who has unreliable friends. So somehow, if you look at this particular verse, it's, it's somehow simply saying, somebody who looks reliable, now has unreliable friends, he will come to ruin. The Englishman says, show me your friends and I will tell you your destiny. As a matter of fact, a particular survey shows that you are a product, your future will become a product of the five closest people to you. So who are the five closest people to you as a person? As I'm talking now, take your pen and write them down. Who are the five closest people that has access to your life that you relate with, you pour yourself into, they pour themselves into you. What they say matters to you. Now, list them down, look at their life carefully, and look at your life. You'll find bits of them gathered in your life. That is why you need to ensure that the five closest people to you are those whose words and lifestyle will only take you forward in life, spiritually and in all dimensions. I have people who are far, far older than me who will not take any decision in their business and their family except they get a yes from this small boy. And I have people who are close to me who are far, far younger. I don't care attitude. Amen. And for me, it's good because my hands are full. Is early speaking. I just told you what time I slept last night. You know, but it's a thing of joy to be of help. 
the Lord God Almighty will help us in the name of Jesus. No man is an island. No man is an island. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9 and 10. It's better to have a partner that go than go eat alone. That's message Bible. So it's better to have a partner than go eat alone, share the work, share the wealth, and if one falls down, the other helps him up. If there's no one to help you, things will be tough. Things will be tough. Now let me share with you the limited time I have for, for, for this morning. Uh, we'll take the part two of this message next Sunday. And if need be, maybe when you're coming next Sunday, the challenges you have concerning um, relationship, can you put them down as a question? Or you send it to me during the week so that that can be a part of what I'll be able to provide solutions to with the help of God next Sunday. Now take note of this. When you are consistent in building relationship that is positive, that is godly, take note of these things that will happen. Number one, you'll have access to privileged information. Access to privileged information. Access to privileged information. Abraham got the privileged information about Sodom and Gomorrah because of his relationship with God. And that was the reason why he was able to take a decision to intercede. Now, that intercession would not have been possible if he does, did not have relationship with the one who was going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Now, even though in his request, he stopped at 10. Is that not so? Is that not so? But did God find 10 people? No. God didn't find 10 people. So, you should have expected God to destroy Lot and the people there because he didn't find 10 people. But God knew, even though the number is less, it will hurt Abraham if Lot dies in Sodom and Gomorrah. And God was not ready to hurt his friend. Are you listening to me now? Huh? Even when they were dragging food, because of the love he has for Abraham, he saved Lot, his wife, and two daughters, four people. Far from the number that Abraham prayed for, prayed for. He said, if you find ten, God found four. Yet, the power of relationship prevailed. I'm praying for you this morning that the privileged access to information that relationship brings, God will give to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your amen can be better than that. What about David? About Ziklag? Ziklag was a town that came to invade his land and took away all his family members. And he had to get information. First Samuel chapter 30, read from verse 11 downwards. There was somebody on the road he met who was thirsty and he gave him, he gave him cake, he gave him water to drink. It was a fellow who now pointed to him the way that they should go. The fellow was not an Israelite, was actually an Egyptian, a slave. Una told him, go this way, you'll be able to meet up with those you are looking for. So direction, privileged information of direction, there are privileged information of, 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 of safety. The one Abraham got was privileged information of safety and deliverance of his extended family. The one David got was privileged information of, of direction for winning in life. So there are some journeys in life that will be very long if you don't have the right relationship. Very, very long. I remember years ago when I was still looking for admission. So I was trusting God to enter a uh, Unilag. Uh, even though I finally got the admission. But because I couldn't pay school fees, I wasn't admitted. Now, how did I get the admission after writing the exam? Somebody who is my mother in the law. The, the, the head of department of the, the, where I wanted to go was mass communication, was a relative of theirs. So they gave me a note on a piece of paper. A note on a piece of paper. It was not even an envelope. So I got to the apartment. There were several people waiting. I gave the note to the secretary that I'm from so so and so person. So he took it in and gave it to the fellow. Even though there were many people, I was called in as number three. And as I entered, he said, you are from so so and so. I said, yes. So what can I do for you? I came in relation to my admission. He said, have you written the exam? I said, yes. What is your score? I told him. He said, don't worry. 
will work on it. He took out his pen, brought out a particular special jotter, and wrote down the details and told me, you can go. Just come back and check the admission list. Hello? Are you listening to me? Relationship. Relationship. I pray for you this morning that the Lord will give you the wisdom of this dimension in the name of Jesus Christ. Your amen can be better than that. Your amen can be better than that. Your amen can be better than that. Psalm 25, verse number 14. The Lord advises those who fear him. He reveals to them the intent of his promise. So even to God, you and I can have access to privilege information via relation. So the Lord advises those who fear him. He reveals. There is advice. There is also a possibility of revelation. And two things you need as a child of God in life. Good advice. Unusual revelations. So in life, brethren, will prevail by right advice. We prevail by revelation. Man may not be able to give you revelation, they will give you privileged information. Now, when you now have access to privileged information, number one, access to right counsel, access to revelations, then you'll be a man and a woman of mysteries. A man and a woman of mysteries. I pray for you today that the Lord God Almighty will stand with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Say a better amen. Another version says, the Lord is a friend to those who fear him. He teaches them his covenant. Another version says, God friendship is for God worshippers. They are the ones he confides in. They are the ones he confides in. Number two, there are doors that money can't open. Relationship will open it. There are doors that money cannot open. But relationship will open it. So if you think that money can do everything, you are wrong. You are very, very wrong. Relationship is the one that will open it. You know, I was on a flight one time ago, a few years back, going to, uh, going to Kenya or so. See Kenya or somewhere. Uh, and then um, on that same flight was a daughter in the Lord of mine, whom God saved through us in the north. And then somehow our own fiance bought her a business ticket. So she was in the business class. I was in the economic class because that was all I could afford. So when he was relating with his, with his fiance, he now told him that, guess what? My father and the Lord is on the same flight with me. He now asked him, can I speak with him? Is he in the business class? He said, no, he's in the economy. He said, your father and the Lord is in the economy class and you are in the business class. He said, go and change seats with him. Relationship. Are you listening to me now? So I'm praying for you this morning the enabling grace for you to be intentional and extreme relationship of your life and ensure that the work the Lord will give to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Good relationship can save you from destruction. Save from destruction. In 1 Samuel chapter 20, 18 to 42, David was saved from death because of his relationship with Jonathan. The Bible says, Jonathan said to David, tomorrow is a new moon festival. You will be missed because your seat will be empty. The day after tomorrow, towards evening, go to the place where you where you eat when this trouble began and wait by the stone the stone exit i will shoot three arrows to the side of it as though i was i were shooting at a target then i will send the boy and say go find the arrows if i say to him look the arrows are on this on this side of you bring them here then come because as surely as the lord lives you are safe there is no danger but if i say to the boy look the arrows are beyond you then you must go because the Lord has sent you away. So it was a strategy, you know. So if not for that, there was no way David could have known that Saul was to kill him that day and he would have walked into the trap. Many of us have walked into traps because we did not have access to information. Now listen, there are informations that God can give you, but he will not give you. You only get it by relating with the right set of people. That's a basic thing. That's why at times you need to also read books. There are revelations God has made open that even for some of us who are pastors, if you don't read the books of those that God has given to given it to them, you can't have access to it. So there are people like that in life. Lot was saved from destruction because of Abraham, Genesis 18, 16 to 33. So the absence of good relationship through Jesus Christ will lead to eternal damnation, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5. 
So being born again is entering into a relationship with God that saves us from, the, from hell and from death. Refusing to be born again means we don't want to relate with God. We don't want to relate with Jesus. We don't need Jesus as our friend. That was why for those who are saved, Jesus Christ says, I call you friends. I call you sons. God the Father says, I call you sons. Jesus says, I call you friends. So look at that now. To God, you are a son. To Jesus, you are a friend. See this unusual dimension of relationship. And to the Holy Spirit, you are a partner. So there is sonship, there is friendship, there is partnership. These three from the Trinity, brethren. So even when the sonship is not speaking for you, your friendship will speak for you. Your partnership will speak for you. So in life, there are people that you need to become a son to for those to open for you. There are those you need to be a friend to for those to open for you. And those that by partnership, those will open for you. That's why some people, except they have business right partnership, their, their intellect, their ideas amount to nothing. They are good in ideas, but they need somebody who has access to resources and funds to be able to partner with. I'm praying for you this morning that these three dimensions God will give to you in the name of Jesus Christ. And most times, God wants to be a son to your pastor, a daughter to your pastor, because that brings over your life on usual spiritual dimensions. There have been people who are close to me that God, who have, God told me, tell this person this and this and this, and that, as at that time, the fellow was about to make a major decision. There was somebody who was afraid to come close because he was about to do something. He was a man, was having some challenges, was about to take a particular step in his marriage. He said, if I tell Pastor Kola, he will tell me the truth. Hello? Hello? He said, if I tell Pastor Kola, he will tell me the truth. And he's my father. I cannot but tell him what I want to do. So he eventually came and spoke. And then I said, sir, very elderly person, I said, sir, you want to hear the truth? That was why he came to me. He said, yes. Now, you are thinking about this. He said, yes. Please, don't do it. The strength of what you need now is for you to be patient and do the unusual. Because God is fighting for you. And thank God he listened. Thank God he listened. I pray for you this morning that may your heart, life, be open to the right counsel in the name of Jesus. Your human can be better than that. One more point. We'll continue from here next Sunday. To fulfill destiny, you need good relationship. One painful one I would love to mention is the issue of Abraham and Lot. God called Abraham. Abraham called Lot. God called Abraham. Abraham called Lot. And it was when Abraham called Lot that we all became aware that there was somebody called Lot. Now, as long as Lot was following Abraham, the covenant of God on Abraham was speaking over him. At a point, he began to be great. To the point that even his ex-men and the ex-men of his uncle Abraham were fighting, which should not have happened. Hello? Hello? That scenario itself shows pride. No wonder when Abraham said, the land is big, pick anywhere, he picked. Because he was already waiting for that day. Number two, he felt that he was big as his uncle. He does not need him in his life. Brother, listen to me. Anyone that God uses to open up direction for you in life, keep them relevant in your life till eternity. You may be bigger than them. Don't forget, God used them as a source. Listen, brethren, the source is better than the physical manifestation. That you are big does not mean the source has shifted to you. The source is still that person. Though. The grace of God on his life is what is covering you. Never despise those that God used for you in life. I was in a kitty yesterday to celebrate a woman who clocked 80, who happens to be the mother-in-law to my mother in the Lord. She flew in from Australia for that 80th birthday, and I just had to be there. Yesterday was the woman in ministry program. I'm supposed to be here. Or anything, but I just had to be in that place because that was my mother in the Lord's mother in law. I had to be in the kitty. His fasting period, there was pandemic, there was everything flying around. 
So the, um, I had done 21, I could have eaten, but I went to two pastors. I said to them, eat now and increase your fasting by two days. <laughs> Amen. But when we're leaving, come and see all forms of package. You know, why did I go relationship? If not for her, you will not have Kola Deboye standing in front of you today. At a more critical time in my life, when suffering was very, very hard, this family took me in. Took me in. She was the one who gave me a note to the, to the department head of Mascom in Unilag for me to get admission. This roof that we did the other time, she sent half a million naira for it. Relationship. Many a times, the funds I get to do major work here is from people I have relation with, relationship with who are not even in this assembly here. It's a call. We're buying materials now. Somebody gave me a cost of wood. I later remembered I have a son who sells wood in Ondo town here. I called him. He gave me a different price, lesser. When he calculated it, finished, and I told him, Elolo Are you listening to me? Why did I say that? Relationship. And then he reduced it again. Relationship is key. It's key. I've been to some places whereby I was supposed to wait for process. All I need to do is just pick my phone and send a message to a son who is inside there. That Lagbaja, I'm at the reception waiting. I need to come in and see so and so. so he will come down and usher me up. Many doors like that. So relationship is key to making things work in life. That's why wives, you must pray for your husband and relate well with him. Husband, relate well with your wife because you can never tell who God will use more often in your life. So you find in, in this story, the moment Lot separated from, from, from Abraham, problems started for him. He eventually lost everything. Same thing as Potiphar in scripture. He realized at the beginning that his household was prospering in the hands of, of, um, of Joseph. So when there was an accusation, he didn't check very well. Now, this guy had been with you for years. He had a track record of integrity, of holiness, of industrious. And so please, take note of this as I close. When there are issues between you and your destiny helpers of friends who have loved at all times, when there's an accusation, when there is a false information, don't be quick to take it near who can sink her. Find out. Do a thorough investigation. The target may not be that friend. The target may be you. Are you listening to me? They will accuse the fellow who is a man of influence towards you so that you can move away from that fellow. The target is not that fellow. The target is you. The target is you. When the devil went to tempt Jesus, Jesus was not the target. It is you and I who are going to be saved that was the target. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? So if the devil is waging war against your husband or your wife, don't be glad that I want to rebuy this. The target is the home, not the head. Strike the shepherd. What will happen? The sheep will scatter. So let's be wise. Let's be wise. Shall we rise on our feet and lift up our two hands to God and say, Father, Loud and better, Father. Loud and better, Father. In every way, I have mismanaged many relationships. Help me to correct them now. Can you pray in the name of Jesus? Can you pray? Can you pray so that I can fulfill destiny? Help me to correct them. So that doors open unto me. Help me to correct them. So that there can be recovery of lost opportunities. Help me to correct them. Lord, help me. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. I went back to Kenya last week. The conference I was going for was to start so-so time. But because I had a friend there, he said, Ah, Pastor K, why don't you come like four or five days earlier? Come and relax. 
I'll foot all the bills. Friendship. Relationship. So there are expenses that God did not design for your salary to carry. Are you listening to me? There are blessings God did not design you to sweat for. And there are blessings that cannot come through prayers and fasting. They will only come by healthy relationships. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? Can you pray one more time? Say, Father, the blessings of healthy relationship, let them flow into my life. Pray in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, the blessings of healthy relationship, let them flow into my life. Let them flow. Let them flow into my life. Let them flow into my life. Let them flow into my life. Thank you, righteous Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. I pray for you this morning. In any way, you have mismanaged meaning relationships, family ties, friendship ties, organizational partnership, and you are currently suffering for it. The Lord will heal you at the point of falling in the name of Jesus. Every good person, destiny instrument that have been taken out of your way, the Lord will bring them back in the name of Jesus Christ. They needed wisdom and patience and structure to be able to manage them well. The Lord give to you in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you, the blessings of healthy relationship will come into your life in the name of Jesus. The right family relationship, the right romantic relationship, the right emotional relationship, the right relationship for marriage and life, God will give to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, righteous Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Lastly, February 14, you can discover good relationship that day. Now, destructive relationship, now they happen on February 14. Huh? Thank God. Somebody say, thank God. There's prayer meeting that day. Eh? So, there's fasting and there's prayer meeting. Yes, so there is no room for feasting. The only people allowed to do Valentine that day is husband and wife. Eh? Are you hearing me? Even husband and wife, there is fasting that day, so no breakfast, no lunch. It's in the evening after prayer meeting. And what are you doing? You are breaking your fast. Are you hearing me now? So please, that day, February 14, do, I don't want to see any of you in any eatery, in any joint, in anywhere. My eyes are going after you. Are you hearing me? Say to your neighbor, the eyes of you passed on show. Oju along show. Marrying and cool in February 14. Tell that fellow, my law. Talk about me, my down. Talk about message, my down. Talk about WhatsApp, my down. Singles, don't let them use coke and meat pie. Destroy your life on February 14. Anybody who's telling you, be my Valentine, tell the fellow you are a demon. It's true. Huh? All on to one moon, I will one join. Hallelujah. Jesus show. Eh? So let's come here eh? and feast with prayer. On February 14, Jesus is your Valentine. Say to your neighbor, Jesus is your Valentine. Uh-huh. Let's package our friend and our tight. <laughs>